Good morning, students. In the previous video, we discussed about the locus of point of intersection of the perpendicular tangents to the parabola and also for an ellipse. We already discussed. In the same way, today we are going to discuss about the same concept for hyperbola. Listen the question carefully. Find or prove that. Say prove that. Prove that the locus of the locus of point of intersection point of intersection of the perpendicular tangents of the perpendicular tangents to the hyperbola to the hyperbola x squared by a squared minus y squared by b squared equal to 1. See the question, prove that the locus of point of intersection of the perpendicular tangents to the hyperbola x squared by a squared minus y squared by b squared what, equal to 1 is x squared plus y squared equal to a squared minus b squared. See the previous discussion. For an ellipse, we already worked out. Here, x squared plus y squared equal to for an ellipse. The result is a squared plus b squared. For the hyperbola, a squared minus b squared. It is called director circle. Director circle of the hyperbola. In the previous video, the same concept, director circle of an ellipse. Here, director circle of a hyperbola. For an ellipse, it is a squared plus b squared. Here, a squared minus b squared. That is the only one difference. All other concepts are same. So, we have to select the standard equation of the hyperbola. Then, the point of intersection of the perpendicular tangents. That is the logic. Now, see the diagram. We have to draw the diagram of the standard equation of the hyperbola x squared minus sorry x squared by a squared minus y squared by b squared equal to 1. Therefore, equation of the hyperbola we are selecting. Equation of the hyperbola x squared by a squared minus y squared by b squared equal to 1. So, we have to draw the standard equation. That means type number 1 hyperbola as usual well known diagram. This must be the center y axis x axis that means center must be origin then this must be a and a dash this is x dash like this this is a well known diagram. Now we have to draw two tangents that two tangents must be perpendicular tangents. See the diagram I am selecting a tangent here. This is tangent 1. Again one more tangent I am selecting. One more tangent to the hyperbola. So these two tangents intersecting at the px1 comma y1. This is to be point pn p of x1 comma y1. Now the locus of this we have to draw the locus of this must be a circle whose equation is x squared plus y squared equal to a squared minus b squared. Listen students, the same concept we already worked out for an ellipse that must be x squared plus y squared equal to a squared plus b squared. This is a constant. Here also x squared plus y squared equal to a squared minus b squared. This is also a constant. See x squared plus y squared equal to general equation r squared. Here also x squared plus y squared equal to r squared. Here a squared plus b squared, here a squared minus b squared. That is the only difference. But it is in the form of x squared plus y squared equal to constant. That means r squared. So it represents a equation of the circle. So that these two explanations, these two equations are called director circle. See, we are able to produce 
a circle here. So this is the diagrammatic explanation. So now we are going to prove this is tangent number 1. This is tangent 1. This is tangent 2. So 1 and 2. See this is the diagrammatic explanation of the hyperbola. Then these two tangents are now said to be perpendicular tangent. This is the logic. These two tangents are said to be perpendicular tangents. The point of intersection of this perpendicular tangent is P of x1, y1. Now we have to find the locus of this point of intersection. It should be x squared plus y squared equal to a squared minus b squared. Now we are going to prove this one. So first listen the diagram. Then understand what is the concept given. Then what we are going to prove. So what is the concept given? We are able to draw two tangents from any point. Already we derived the derivation part. From this, now the two tangents are said to be perpendicular. We are having a procedure. If two tangents are said to be perpendicular, then the product of their slopes m1 into m2 equal to minus 1. So we have to use this idea. So now listen carefully. So after completing this diagram, now we are going to derive this part. See the diagrammatic expression. It should be a circle. The circle x squared plus y squared equal to a squared minus b squared for an ellipse a squared plus b squared both the equation in the form of x squared plus y squared equal to r squared therefore both the circle both the equations are called director circle it is for an ellipse it is for a hyperbola now listen carefully now we have to select the equation so from this diagrammatic explanation we are discussing about tangents but point is not given so that so we are selecting equation of the tangent equation of the tangent to the hyperbola is we already will know y equal to mx plus or minus square root of a square m square minus b square for an ellipse it is plus for a hyperbola a squared m squared minus b squared. We already derived this derivation part. That means condition for the line y equal to mx plus c to be a tangent to the hyperbola. In that condition, we find out the values of c squared. What is the value of c squared? c squared equal to a squared m squared minus b squared. From that, we are able to find out the value of c. We already worked out where m is to be slow. So here, c there is no point. Rt x1, y1 is different from this one. So we are selecting equation of the tangent is y equal to mx plus or minus square root of a squared m squared minus b squared. Now this equation, this equation passing through the point, this equation passing through the point p of x1 comma y1. Just to refer the diagram, the tangents intersecting at p of x1 comma y1. That means both the tangent passing through the point p of x1 comma y1. Therefore, equation of the tangent is y equal to mx plus r minus square root of a squared m squared minus b squared. This equation passing through the point p of x1 comma y1. Therefore, I can replace here y1 equal to mx1 again plus r minus square root of a squared m squared minus b squared. Convert this one. y minus mx1 is equal to plus r minus square root of a squared m squared minus b squared. Take the mx on the other side, leave the square family other side. Now we have to square in both sides. Now we can get y minus mx1 whole squared equal to, if you are squaring, plus or minus symbol and the square root family will be removed. We can get a squared, a squared m squared minus b squared. So, from this, this equation passing through the point P of x1, y1, instead of x, y substitute the value x1, y1, after that convert into the one side, the root family must be in the other side, then we want to remove the root family, therefore squaring both sides, we can get y minus mx on the whole square equal to plus or minus will be removed, root family will be removed. Now we have to expand this one, we have to expand this one, see this one, y1 squared plus m squared x1 squared minus 2 m x1 y1 so just to expand 
this is in the form of a minus b the whole squared. So expand this one. E equal to a squared m squared minus b squared. Now see we are having m squared family in the two places. Therefore I can write like this m squared x1 squared minus a squared m squared. Then minus 2m x1 y1 equal to y1 squared sorry. Uh, here plus y1 squared convert this negative b squared to the other side we can get positive. So m squared x1 squared then convert to the other side minus a squared m squared. Already we are having m family minus 2m x1 y1 then here I having y1 squared eh? then b squared convert to the other side we can get positive b squared equal to 0. Now once again so expanding this one we can get this. In this equation pairing now we can get m squared outside take out m squared outside the remaining x1 squared minus a squared here minus 2m x1 y1 here we are having y1 squared plus b squared equal to 0. So if you are expanding this equation we can get a quadratic equation in m then pairing out then take out the m squared common then m squared of constant 2m again constant y1 squared plus b squared equal to 0. This equation must be a quadratic equation in m. By solving this equation we can get two values of m say m1 m2. So by solving this equation we can get two values of m that is m1 and m2 that is two solutions. Two solutions we can get say two solutions say m1 and m2. So that means it is a quadratic equation in m. By solving we can get two values that is two slopes m1 and m2. Already we are explaining in the ellipse itself sum of the roots. Sum of the roots. That means alpha plus beta is the general information. What is the formula? Minus b by a. But it is no mean. Now, product of the roots. Product of the roots. Say alpha beta. That is equal to c by a. All these informations are well known from your lower classes. Sum of the roots alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a product of the roots alpha beta equal to c by a. Now I am going to select the product of the roots. Listen carefully. I am going to select the product of the roots. Uh, what purpose we are selecting the product of the roots? That means m1 into m2. From the diagrammatic explanation the tangents are perpendicular. If the tangents are said to be perpendicular then the product of the slopes equal to minus 1. So we need product of the roots only. See this one. Now sum of the roots and the product of the roots, avoiding this one. If it is no need, I want selecting this one. So product of the roots is nothing but m1 into m2. Then the formula is c by a. See this quadratic equation, c is the constant y1 squared plus b squared divided by, then this is x1 squared, this is the quadratic equation, then a means coefficient of m squared that is x1 squared minus a squared. So after getting the quadratic equation, say the explanation, we are having two solutions, m1 and m2, then the sum of the roots alpha plus beta, no need here, we need the product of the roots alpha beta that is c e by a and find the value. Since the tangents are perpendicular from the diagrammatic explanation, we are already worked out the tangents are perpendicular. So tangents are perpendicular. That is the question asked. Prove that the locus of the point of intersection of the perpendicular tangents. So tangents are perpendicular. So if the tangents are perpendicular, then we have the procedure m1 m2 equal to minus 1. So instead of m1 m2, I am selecting y1 squared plus b squared divided by x1 squared minus a squared equal to minus 1. Cross multiplying this one, we can get y1 squared plus b squared equal to, if it is multiplication with minus 1, I can write 
minus x squared minus into minus again positive a squared. So convert this one here, this b squared to the other side. x squared comes to the this side we can get positive x squared, then y1 squared. Equal to if b squared goes to the other side, we can get a squared minus b squared. Now locus of locus of p of x1 comma y1 because we are uh, considering p of x1 comma y1 is the initially it is a fixed point now we need to find the locus locus means it should be a moving point that means the path traced by the point p of x1 comma y1 is nothing but the locus so locus of p of x1 comma y1 is it should be x squared plus y squared equal to a squared minus b squared this is the result we need x1 squared instead of x1 squared we are saying x squared instead of y1 squared y squared equal to a squared plus sorry a squared minus b squared it is called director circle this is called director circle of the hyperbola so these three derivations are very important the first one point of intersection of the perpendicular tangents to the parabola is x plus a equal to 0 that is nothing but directrix then for the second ellipse the point of intersection of the perpendicular tangents to the ellipse is x squared plus y squared equal to a squared plus b squared that is called a director circle of an ellipse then the third one is the point of intersection of the perpendicular tangents to the hyperbola is x squared plus y squared equal to a squared minus b squared that is also called a director circle of a hyperbola therefore the point of intersection of the perpendicular sense we are finding out the locus locus of point of intersection listen carefully work out these three questions these are very important theoretical concept now listen already we discussed the equation of the tangent at the x1 comma y1 to the parabola and also equation of the tangent and the normal at t to the parabola the same concept today we are going to work out for an ellipse find the equation of the find the equation of the tangent and the normal find the equation of the tangent and normal normal to an ellipse find the equation of the tangent and normal to the ellipse x squared plus 4y squared equal to 32 x squared plus 4y squared equal to 32 at the theta equal to pi by 4 at theta equal to pi by 4 see find the equation of the tangent and normal to an ellipse x squared plus 4y squared equal to 32 at to the condition theta equal to pi by 4 these are the two informations given in your question so at the means parameter is given that is the first concept so at the x1 comma y1 we are having a formula at the theta theta means parametric equation of the ellipse is given so now listen carefully we are going to find out equation of the tangent and normal to an ellipse x squared plus 4 y squared equal to 32 now listen this is the equation of the given ellipse so given ellipse x squared plus 4 y squared equal to 32 convert into the standard form therefore divided by 32 we can get x squared by 32 plus 4y squared by 32 equal to 1 4 and 32 will be removed we can get x squared by 32 plus y squared by 8 equal to 1 from this we are able to say a squared equal to 32 then a equal to square root of 32 we can be split in the form of 16 into 2 again 4 root 2 this is the value of a 
So we are finding out the values of a first, value of a. In the same way here, see, b squared equal to 8. So from this, b equal to square root of 8 becomes 2 root 2. So this is the value of b. So we need a, b first. From the equation, given equation of an ellipse. So given if ellipse is x squared plus 4y squared equal to 32. We are having the condition of theta equal to pi by 4. So I want to find x1 comma y1 with the help of the parametry. Now from the standard equation we are able to find out the value of a and b. This is the first logic. Now what is the parametric equation of an ellipse? Already we discussed. Now parametric equation of an ellipse is x equal to a cos theta y equal to b sin theta. So refer the previous class x equal to a cos theta y equal to b sin theta is the parametric equation of an ellipse. We need x1 and y1 that should be a point. So now a and b are the already we are working out from the ellipse. Instead of theta, that is the condition they are given. Therefore, if you are substituting the data, we can get what is the value of a? 4 root 2. Now, cos theta is replaced by pi by 4. In the same way, it should be y1. Then the value of b becomes 2 root 2. And then the value of b becomes 2 root 2. Then sine theta must be pi by 4. Here theta must be pi by 4. Therefore, we are able to find out x1 comma y1. So keep the 4 root 2 as it is. It is nothing but cos pi by 4. Cos pi by 4 means cos 45. Cos 45, 1 by root 2. So root 2 will be removed. We can get x1 equal to 4. In the same way here, y1 equal to 2 root 2 is the constant. Sin pi by 4 is also nothing but sin 45 is 1 by root 2. Root 2 will be removed, we can get y1 equal to 2. Therefore, point x1 comma y1 equal to 4 comma 2. So this is the first logic we need. So ellipse is given. From that ellipse, find out the values of a squared from that a, again b squared from that b. Then the parametric equation of an ellipse. This is the parametric equation of an ellipse x equal to a cos theta. Refer the previous R book. Parametric equations of an ellipse x equal to a cos theta y equal to b sin theta. Instead of a b, substitute the data. Theta is the fixed value at pi by 4. Substitute, we are able to get the point x1 comma y1. This is said to be 4 comma 2. So now we have the point and the equation of an ellipse then we are able to work out equation of the tangent at the x1 comma y1 and normal also. So we are able to find out the point. Now listen, equation of the given ellipse, equation of the given ellipse, x squared plus 4y squared equal to 32. So we are going to find out at 4 comma 2. So we already worked out the point 4 comma 2. Now we are going to find out equation of the tangent and normal to this ellipse x squared plus 4 is equal to 32 up to 4 comma 2. Now listen equation of the tangent equation of the tangent at the x1 comma y1. What is the procedure? x squared is replaced by xx1 then 4 times y squared is replaced by yy1 equal to 32 then substitute the point at the x1 comma y1 is nothing but the point now x x1 is replaced by 4 4 times y y1 is replaced by 2 equal to 32 this equation can be divided by 4 so therefore we can get 4 is removed we can get x here 4 is removed, we can get 2y equal to, if you are dividing by 4, we can get 8. Therefore, x plus 2y minus 8 equal to 0 is the equation of the tangent at x1 comma y1. 
So we need x1, y1 from the given data. What are the uh, given data? At theta equal to pi by 4 is the given data and the equation of the ellipse is given. So from that find a, b and theta is given. Therefore convert the given data into the parametric formations x equal to a cos theta and y equal to b sin theta. Use theta and the values of a comma b then we can get the point x1 comma y1 that is 4 comma 2. From that 4 comma 2 find the equation of the tangent at x1 comma y1. It is the well known procedure. x squared is replaced by x x1. y squared is replaced by y y1 equal to 32. Substitute the point x1 comma y1. Simplify. We can get 4 commonly. We are able to divide. Then x 2y equal to 8. So x plus 2y minus 8 equal to 0 is the equation of the tangent. Now we are able to convert equation of the normal from this equation of the normal. What is the procedure already we are using? x plus 2y. Therefore, interchange the coefficient of x comma y. Therefore, we can write 2x. Then, we have to change the symbol for here. Therefore, minus o plus constant. Whatever may be the constant here, replace with the plus k only. So, we are able to get 2x here. Then, 1y with the help of the simple changing. Therefore, 2x minus 1y plus k equal to 0. This is the equation of the normal. We have to find the value of k. Therefore, substitute. Therefore, this equation passing through. This equation passing through. What is the meaning of passing through? At, at means the normal passing through. What is the meaning of normal? It is the perpendicular to the tangent at the point of intersection x1, y1. Therefore, passing through 4, 2. Substitute here 2 times 4 minus 1 times y, y value is 2 plus k equal to 0. 4 twos are 8 minus 2 plus k equal to 0. If you are simplifying, you are getting positive 6. Convert to the other side. Therefore, k equal to we can get minus 6. Then once again substitute here, we can get the equation of the normal. Now equation of the normal. Equation of the normal e is just 2x then minus y k is replaced by minus 6 equal to 0 this is to be equation of the normal now it is in 2x minus y minus 6 equal to 0 so after finding out the value of tangent then take down this procedure interchange the coefficient of x comma y then symbol must be changed so 2x minus y plus k equal to 0 now it passing through the point then substitute the data, find the value of k, again replace here, 2x minus y minus 6 equal to 0 is the equation of the normal. So this is the equation of the tangent and the normal procedure from already, this is the well known procedure. Already we are using the same concept for the parabola. Now for an ellipse, again once again, for an ellipse also, we are having one question on this model find the equation of the tangent and normal find the equation of the tangent and normal to the hyperbola see the question find the equation of the tangent find the equation of the tangent and the normal Find the equation of the tangent and the normal to the hyperbola. To the hyperbola, see the question 12x squared minus 9y squared equal to 108 at a theta equal to pi by 3. Once again, see the question find the equation of the tangent and the normal to the hyperbola 12x squared minus 9y squared equal to 108 at theta equal to pi by 3. Same type of question just now we discussed that is for an ellipse. Now it is for a hyperbola that is the only one different. See given hyperbola what is the given equation of the hyperbola 12x squared minus 9y squared equal to 108 
So we need a squared b squared. Therefore, it should be converted into the standard form. Total x squared by 108 minus 9y squared by 108 equal to 1. 12 and 108 will be removed. We can get x squared by 9 minus y squared by 9 and 108 will be removed. We can get 12 equal to 1. From this, we are able to say a squared equal to 9. Therefore, a equal to 3. Then b squared equal to 12. Therefore, b equal to root 12. It must be simplified with the help of 4 times 3. Again, 4 is 2 root 3. We can see the value of b. So, from the equation of the hyperbola, first we need to find the a squared, b squared. From that, we are able to work out a and b. Then, what is the procedure? Now, we need the parametric equation. What is the parametric equation of a hyperbola? Parametric equation of the hyperbola is x equal to a secant theta. x equal to a secant theta y equal to b tan theta. This is the parametric equation of the hyperbola. Now x equal to a secant theta y equal to b tan theta. We worked out the value of a and b. At to theta equal to, that is the given, theta equal to pi by 3 is given logic. Then substitute here. If we are substituting, we can get the value of x1. What is the value of a? a is 3. Then secant, what is the value of theta? Pi by 3. Again y1. y1 equal to, what is the value of b here? 2 root 3. Then tan, once again theta is replaced by pi by 3. See the logics. Find the values of, after finding out the values of a and b, then we need theta, that is also given in your question, theta equal to pi by 3. So A is well known, B is well known. Then select the parametric equation of the hyperbola. This is the parametric equation of the hyperbola. So parametric equation of the hyperbola is x equal to A secant theta, y equal to B tan theta. From this, we need x1 comma y1, substitute A comma B and the values of theta equal to pi by 3. Now listen, x1 equal to 3. Again, what is the value of secant pi by 3? From the trigonometric table, you know the values of cos pi by 3. Cos pi by 3 means cos 60. Cos 60 value is 1 by 2. Then secant is the reciprocal. So it will become 2. So secant pi by 3 is reciprocal of cos. Cos 60, 1 by 2. Take the reciprocal. We can get to 2. So x1 equal to 6. In the same way, listen here y1, y1 equal to 2 root 3, then tan pi by 3, that means tan 60, tan 60 is root 3. So here y1 equal to root 3, again multiplication with root 3, we can get 3, 3 times 2, 6. Therefore, point x1 comma y1, point x1 comma y1 equal to, I have these two results, 6 comma 6. So this is the point x1 comma y1. So after finding out the values of the point x1 comma y1, that means 6 comma 6, we have the equation of the hyperbola. That is the given hyperbola is 12x squared minus 9y squared equal to 108. From that we are able to find equation of the tangent and normal. Listen very carefully, very simple process for the ellipse and hyperbola. Point is directly not given. So select at theta equal to from the parametric equation, that is the very simplest procedure, no need to memory anything, just we need the parametric, x equal to a cos theta, y equal to b sin theta, that is for an ellipse, x equal to a secant theta, y equal to b tan theta, that is for hyperbola. Now, from this, we are able to work out the point x1 comma y1. Now, we need equation of the tangent and normal. First, we have to find the equation of the tangent. Then, already well known procedure, equation of the given hyperbola, equation of the given hyperbola. What is the given hyperbola? 12x squared minus 9y squared 
equal to 108. That is the equation of the given hyperbola. Now we need equation of the tangent, equation of the tangent at the x1 comma y1, equation of the tangent at the x1 comma y1. That is we need. What is the procedure? 12 times x squared is replaced by x x1. 12 times x squared is replaced by x x1. Minus 9 times y squared is replaced by y y1. y squared is replaced by y y1. Again, that is equal to 108. So, 12 x squared is replaced by x x1. 9 y squared is replaced by y y1 equal to that constant 108. Now we are having the point, what is the point here? Just now we worked out 6 comma 6. This is nothing but x1 comma y1. We have to substitute here 12 times x. x1 is replaced by 6 minus 9 times y. y1 is replaced by again 6. Then equal to, we are able to find 108. Now we have to simplify this one. This one first. We are able to simplify with the directly 6, I think, maybe. 6 again, 6 here also, we are having 6. So we are divided by 6 means we can get 12x. Again, minus 9y is equal to, again, it is divided by 6. We have to divide by 6. That means one time we are getting, the remaining is 48, 8 times. So 8 times we are getting. So once again, listen, it can be divided by 3 also. Again 3, 3, 3, again divided by 3, that means 4x minus 3y is equal to 6 times we are able to, 6 3s are 18, therefore I can write like this, 4x minus 3y minus 6 equal to 0 is the equation of the tangent, isn't this one? So we need to find the equation of the tangent at the x1 comma y1. So 12 x squared is replaced by x x1, 9 y squared is replaced by y y1 equal to 108. Just substitute the point instead of x1 comma y1, 6 must be replaced. So it can be divided by 6. So 6, again 6 removed, we can get to 12 x, 9 y. If we divide by 6, first one time, again 4, 48 means 8 times. Again, if you are able to simplify, divided by 3, we can write 4 x, 3y equal to 6. 4x minus 3y minus 6 equal to 0 is the equation of the tangent. Now we need to find equation of normal. What is the procedure? Equation of the normal. Then interchange the coefficients. Now 3 and 4 will be removed. Therefore 3x. Again here we are going to convert this symbol as a negative already we are having. So positive 4y. So listen this concept, interchange with the coefficient, 3 here, again 4 here, therefore 3x plus 4y plus k equal to 0, this is the equation of the normal. Now we need to find the value of k, then substitute the data, again this equation passing through the point, this equation passing through, so this equation passing through 6 comma 6. Just to replace 3 times 6, again 4 times 6, plus k equal to 0, 18 plus 24 plus k equal to 0, then adding these two, 24, 34, 42, 42 plus k equal to 0, therefore k equal to minus 42, therefore equation of the normal must be 3x plus 4y instead of k substitute minus 42 equal to 0. That is the equation of the normal. You have to substitute here. So listen, the same logic. Just now we worked out for an ellipse. Now we are going to work out the same concept for hyperbola. 3x, 4y plus k equal to 0. So it is the equation of the normal. Now 3x plus 4y plus k, we need to find the value of k. This equation passing through the point 6 comma 6. Instead of x comma y substitute 3 times 6, 4 times again 6 plus k, 3 into 6 becomes 18, here 24, when we are adding 48, then k equal to 48, again the k must be removed, therefore 3x plus 4y minus 42 equal to 0 is the equation of the normal. Reason students,
This is the same procedure we are already worked out for the tangent or now or just now worked out for the ellipse. Now we are going to discuss about for hyperbola also. Therefore, we, we are working out the same logic. But for the parabola, parametric equation refer as t. For an ellipse, parametric equation just equal to theta. For a hyperbola also theta, to theta only they are giving. But parametric equation of an ellipse equal to x equal to a cos theta, y equal to b sin theta. But for hyperbola, x equal to a secant theta, y equal to b tan theta. Ellipse, x equal to a cos b sin. Here, x equal to a secant, then y equal to b tan. If you are having any doubt, substitute in the given equation. Just you are substituting in the given equation, it must be satisfied for an ellipse x squared by a squared, y squared by b squared. Just to substitute instead of x, substitute a cos theta instead of y, b sin theta, then it must be satisfied. And also for hyperbola, x squared by a squared minus y squared by b squared equal to 1, just to substitute a secant b tan, then simplify, it must be satisfied. Therefore, we are able to recall, just to have any doubt, just to substitute the parametric in the standard equation, it must be satisfied by the parametric. Now, we are able to work out one more question in the same model, but listen carefully. The question asked is something different from these two. Now, we are working out just we are worked out equation of the tangent and normal at x1, y1 in 